Uh, let's talk about uh, worries for the palace today uh, as the Guardian has got hold, not in their actual newspaper actually, only online overnight of an excerpt of an elite, uh, elite version of uh, Spare. This is Prince Harry's new memoir coming out supposedly next Tuesday. He's done a couple of big interviews. American TV and ITV's Tom Bradbury is going out on uh, Sunday. We've seen a small excerpt from that. Uh, but uh, in this uh, in, in this uh, leaked copy, uh, it is well, some extraordinary claims. Uh, Prince Harry claims that he was physically attacked by his brother William. Uh, he was left him with, he says, visible injuries, including scrapes and bruises on his back when he fell. He says that the uh, now Prince of Wales, back in their, in his London home in 2019, he visited and he said he that Prince uh, William called Meghan difficult, rude and abrasive. Uh, he accused uh, Harry then accused his brother of, in his words, parroting the press narrative about his wife. A screaming and shouting match ensued, uh, ending with, Harry claims, a physical attack uh, by Prince William. Uh, he claims uh, that uh, William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace and knocked me to the floor. Uh, then he claims he was left with a visible injury to his back. His brother left and then came back again and said no need to tell Meg about this. But he did then later tell his therapist and then tell his his wife as well, that he'd be knocked to the floor. Well, let's talk about this with Rupert Bell, Talk Radio's Royal Correspondent. Good morning to you. Morning, Julia. Um, I have a funny feeling that the uh, Buckingham Palace's attempts to stay stum uh, are not going to last uh, for today. Uh, why would you think we're going to be getting some sort of statement along the lines of the Queen's statement last year, recollections may vary? Um, I think the problem is they, they try to set their stall out to remain silent and i think they'll do their level best to do th exactly that but it well the future king being accused of physically assaulting his brother well, they, they, they... there therein lies the dilemma it is extremely difficult but for them now because now the gloves are off in every sense because if he is saying they were having a a full-blown row and actually you know that that rumors had been circulating around about the fact that the their relationship had come to this sort of situation so it's it's probably just confirms what a lot of people know already i think so we, i think we knew that there'd been a, a, a sort of shouting match and he carried previously talked about his brother uh, well, screaming at him um and how you know he'd be how difficult this was I mean, there's never been an allegation of of physical violence before but again again the recollections may, may vary um, he, 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 uh, maybe Prince William's version would simply be, you know, they got in a tussle, someone slipped, things happen. A lot of people, it's interesting actually how many people who, who, who were sort of tweeting and messing about this, pointing out that, well, you know, unfortunately, some emotions can ride high and sometimes things go a bit wrong in, in, in family disputes. Um, but most of us don't, you know, wash our family, you know, our family laundry like this in, 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 the, in the international media's gaze. Exactly, and that I think is what is uh, leaves the royal household going, and indeed probably the actual members who he's talking about scratching their heads. And you know, and you know, the king is supposed to have said, "Well, it's reported in the front of the book." You know, I I don't want this to, you know, my my reign to be blighted by the row that you two are having, and yeah. and it is just desperately sad. But at the heart of it, it appears that unfortunately it is Meghan who is the brunt of all the problems as far as William was concerned and Harry the her abrasive nature was causing problems within the staff. Here's now, the what... issue. I'm, I'm no big fan of, of mm. Meghan. It's quite clear the, the fact the woman can't keep a member of staff for more than a month tells you tells you there are some issues there in terms of her manner. We hear this from lots of different people. Um, I don't think it's just a she didn't fit in. I don't, yeah. And it's not about the colour of her skin or anything like that. Or um, I think you know being an American might be more of an issue. Um, however, um, it, 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 as a general rule, most people will know that basically slagging off your brother's wife ain't going to endear you to your brother and and, no. and and even if what even if what we even if william did say this and it's true which i think a lot of people think it is um whether or not it's a good idea to say that to your brother about his wife a lot of people would say they would expect that the you know harry in that scenario to stand up to his brother on that Absolutely, and I don't think we're, we're disagreeing with that. But actually, it's interesting, if you read the excerpt, also says, you know, when they sort of calmed down a bit, he did go back and apologise yeah. because he probably knew he'd overstepped the mark. So, yeah. But that's what happens in family rows, not, and not always to this extent. But people come back and go, oh, I've just said something. And, you know, in, in a way, it's that sort of apologise, I didn't really mean it, and try yeah. and take the heat out of the situation. 
But clearly for Harry, this is all part of what has caused his problem. And being the number two, hence the title, The Book Spare, he couldn't really deal with the fact that, you know, in a sense, his life seemed on the face of it meaningless as just being the number two in this Yeah, well, you know what? For most of us, our lives are fairly meaningless because we're not going to be the heir to the throne and we're, somehow we all get on with it. Um, I'd say it didn't appear that it was a problem for him until his wife came on the scene and, and clearly uh, was shocked to discover there was a hierarchy in the royal family. That's still my favourite line from the Netflix documentary. There's a hierarchy? No, really? Um, can I also ask you about um, the King's coronation? It's coming up in May. Uh, the King will today issue a call for claims from anyone wishing to take part in his coronation in a move expected to prompt a flood of applications. He's going to keep a 700-year-old tradition by allowing anyone whose ancestors played a role in a previous coronation to apply to take part in the May the 6th uh, ceremony. However, you will have to provide evidence of their hereditary right to be involved. This is under the ancient Court of Claims ritual. I think we might have just lost Rupert's line, but I know Ali Mirage is in the studio listening to this. Um, it sounds lovely. Oh, other people are going to get to apply. No, it's basically going to be the, the, the descendants of, of, other, of posh people, rich people, of landed gentry who's going to be able to apply. It's not It's not for us ordinary commoners, is it? I was momentarily getting excited there, thinking about my great-grandfather so digging out some paper from somewhere, but no, unfortunately not. Look, w one of the things is... That... I'm sorry, I think that's ridiculous. Well, why not just have a just have a ballot and just draw some names out of a hat for some some of us? I mean, I don't want to go, but I, 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 I'll I would go love in the to go. I'd go in the ballot and I'd give my ticket away um, to, to well, a worthy Well, look, person. if anyone from Buckingham Palace is listening, I'd love to go. I'm a massive fan of King Charles. I think that he needs uh, he should be supported, and I think it's good that we're not having a, a slimmed down uh, coronation. Um, okay, we've got Rupert back. Rupert, I don't know if you heard, but again, this this plan is on the front of the Telegraph today about the uh, uh, you know, people basically. You know, if you've got a posh relative somewhere down the line, you could, you'll be able to apply to go to uh, uh, the coronation. I mean, that's hardly sort of opening it up to us plebs, is it? Uh, no, it, it, it's not quite as uh, straightforward as that. It's actually to have a role within the royal family uh, with the coronation. Yeah, so. Oh, not Julia, sitting in the not sitting in the pews. Not quite like that. It's a bit more of a legal thing. It started back in the days of uh, John of Gaunt with Richard II. So uh, when basically he wanted a constitutional, and it's been something that's passed down. It even happened in 1953. Winston Churchill, who was uh, in charge of the Sank Ports, he got, you know, they got involved as a result, and the right. Dean of Westminster, with a court deciding whether you had a fit purpose within the Constitution. So, Julia, okay. I know how much you want to be at the coronation, so you don't need to fill in that form. Um, just, just yet. Wait, just Rupert, yet, anyway. Rupert Bell, always good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Talk Radio's World Correspondent.